In this lesson, we are going to add filter bar to the shopping cart. To do that, first of all, let's create a new branch like previous lessons, create new branch and enter the name of branch to filter dash component. Press enter and we start working in this branch. First of all, go to components folder, right click and enter filter.js as a filter component. Type RCC and press tab to create the default class based component for filter. And we are ready here to start coding the filter component. Let's enter the filter here and go to app.js and in the section that we dedicate for products before the products component enter filter and when you see this icon and filter if you press tab automatically the filter component will be import at the top of app.js we need to pass some properties to filter component the first one is the count it's the count of products that will be shown as a result it should be this dot state dot products dot length let us start with this one and then go to filter component and here there should be three sections the first one is for filter result and it should show this dot props dot count the second one would be for sort filter sort and it show order and there should be a select box that we will implement it later and the last step is gonna be filter size and here we show list of sizes and filter the products based on that size so it's filter with capital f and here should be a select box to show list of sizes here for options i'm going to use all and the value would be empty string and duplicate this for different sizes x small small medium large x large and double x large and copy the code inside the value section like this and keep the all empty for order there should be three items three options the first option would be the latest it means that sort items by the latest one so the new product will be appear at first the second one is based on price and the value would be lowest it should be lowest like this so the lowest price appear at top and then duplicate that and change it to highest and make the highest price at top very good we just created this and there is no need to space here order filter and here put products and set the class name for the parent div to filter let's check the result you see there are six products and there is an order and there is a filter but they don't work and their style is not correct we are going to make them in one row like this to make it happen open index.css at the very end of index.css create a section for create filter class set display to flex padding and margin to one rem and set border button to 0.1 rem gray color and solid to draw a line to separate filter from yeah you see like this we need to set justify content to space between to create a space between these items so let's set justify content to space between 
Also for filter child for all depths set flex to one because we are going to create three same and equal size equal width sections like this so they are very similar to each other and the only thing we need to do is to create a space between them let's do that by using this order filter and you see they are super similar to each other so uh, this part works but the order and filter doesn't work we are going to implement them let's go to code open app.js and for filter we need to define some properties first of all its size and it should be this.state.size second one is sort and it should be this.state.sort so we are passing uh, the size and sort as a property to filter component and we need to define two functions to handle uh, changing size and sorts so filter products should be this dot filter products and sort products should be this dot sort products yeah here we have size and sort and there should be two function here sort products it just accept the sort value from filter component and here we need to implement that also for filter products it just get the size and we need to implement that let's go to the filter component and inside this the value here should be this.props.size you know this is exactly is the value that comes from app.js at this point and when there is a change on change the handler would be the app.js this.props.sort products so this component is like a dummy component because it doesn't handle anything it just pass uh, the sort value and the sort action to the parent component right here so do the same for this one for filter the value would be this dot props dot size and when user change the size on change the parent component would be responsible for this change filter products in the app.js in this section for the sort product we are going to use event because it's an event parameter that comes into this function let's console log event dot target dot value by having this code we can read the value that user selected in the select box let's use the same one for this and then go to code this time we are going to open Google Developer Tools by pressing F12. You can get access to that. Uh, there is a typo in filter.js and product should be like this. You see, if we check the result, when you select an order like lowest, you see the lowest appears here. Or when you select like size M, the M appears here. So we are going to implement the logic of sort and filter in these two functions let us start with the simple one which is filter convert this function to a method function using this style by changing to this i'm able to access to this dot set state method and for this the value of size should be event dot target dot value and products should be filtered 
I'm using the products from data.products. Data.products. Dot filter inside the filter method for each product I just check the product dot available sizes dot index of current value you know event dot target dot value is greater than or equal to zero it means that we are going to make sure that this size exists in this array. So all of this should happen if there is a value inside. If it's empty, if value equal to empty string, what we need to set is this dot set a state size and the product should be the all products the data dot products and here is the else part let's wrap this inside else part and the size would be event dot target dot value that's it let's check the result if i select like XL you see only XL sizes for large only large size for S there is no size S X there is no XL for XXL there are two products so we have done with this one let's go for the order and sort one inside the sort function uh, we need to change to method function like this and then what I'm going to do is to use the second form of this dot set state it's like this this dot set state it accepts the state current state as a first parameter and it just return an object which is the new state for this object the sort value should be event.target.value and the products is very important because we are going to sort products. First of all, we need to get access to state.products. This is the filtered products and we need to apply sort on the filtered products. But before that, check the sort. Here I'm going to cut this and create a constant constant sort and set it to current sort and use sort here you know it, it's just for making the code smaller for the sorting products first of all let's put the products here we need to create a clone from the filtered products the filtered products are in the desk.state.products Let's create a clone by using slice array functions and then there should be a sort function. Sort function accept two parameter and we need to compare these two parameter and return a new object. To send a new object, we need to check the value of sort. If sort equal to lowest. Then if a.price less than b.price then return 1 else return minus 1. I wrap this inside parentheses. The second condition that I need to check is highest. It is very similar to this one but the difference is in this condition. So this command will sort uh, from lowest to highest and this command will sort from highest to lowest. And the last change we need to do, you know, if it's none of this condition, sort based on their ID, underline ID. And it should be like newest, you know, the greater than should appear at top. 
So here is the code for sort method. And let's check the result. If I select lowest, and if I select highest, and if I select latest, I guess uh, there is something wrong here. Yeah, we need to change, reverse this if we make the price like this and uh, in, in the lowest part and make them reverse, it's gonna work correct. Lowest and highest. And same rules apply to this one. By having this, the smaller, uh, you know, the greater ID should be appear at first. That's it for creating a filter bar. We have implemented the sort filter and they work both together perfect. You know, highest, latest, and sort. And if you check the number here, it works. You know, if you make it all, it's gonna be, there is a typo here, it should be products. That's it. You know, if you select all, it's gonna work. And when you change it, like N, this number changes. That's it for this lesson. Let's publish it. This works on the GitHub. And like before, it's super simple. Select your React shopping cart, enter a message, filter component, and press command enter. And after synchronizing this change, if you go to github.com and inside your repository, you will see compare and pull request button for filter component branch. Like previous lesson, at the end of each feature, we are going to create a pull request because we are going to merge the changes in this branch with master. And here, select confirm merge. And don't forget, at the end, you should come back to uh, your VS code and change the current branch from feature branch to master branch. And also click on this icon because we are going to get the latest changes. If you check here, your changes about the filter component. But if you click here on this icon, you are requesting the latest change from master and it's gonna, you know, suddenly it happens. Your changes comes here. And also you need to check the result in your application. Refresh and make sure that it works. That's all for this lesson. For next lesson, what we are going to do is to go for a very important section and it is cart component like this. We are going to enable user to add items to cart and enable to implement a real shopping cart. Until that lesson, bye-bye.